From a distant land in the east, from across the sea, he shall appear. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him. Hey guys, what's up? Shin055 here, back more Let's Play Shenmue 3. Back, part 53, I think. Yeah, no, we're on 53. Wow, 53 episodes. Surprisingly, Shenmue 3 is the longest Shenmue game so far. Because I was able to beat Shenmue 1 and 2 in like 47 videos, I think. 47 videos each game. So, yeah, no. With that said, I guess Shenmue 3 is the longest out of them. And, like, I don't feel like I've gotten lost all too much. I don't know, I might just be doing less each video. I don't know, but again, having fun. So, apparently, I looked up the walkthrough. We have to talk to Ren, and we have to go back, like, early. Which is weird, because I wouldn't think... Because, I don't know, just the way that the cutscene set it up, it felt like... We talk to Ren after we're ready to go back, you know? So, I thought we had to go look for, like, a Kung Fu Master now, but apparently, we just talk to Ren, and that'll progress the story. Well, I guess they do have beds here. I guess you could just stay at the ferry terminal. Hey, Ren. Hey, Ren. Oh, it's you. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to head to the Red Snake's Snake hideout. hideout. Right on. Let's do it! See, now do we fight him again? Oh, we're going in the morning, wow. I would assume we'd go at night, but I guess, I don't know. Hey. Okay. Hey, you punks, show yourselves. I'll be fighting you this time. I'm not like the weakling you fought before. Hey. Hey. Who the hell is this? Shut your breast! Oh, fire! Stop cowering and get him! You schmucks! <laughs> okay, here we go. Fight time. Oh, we're getting a lot of fights in. I like that. And this time we have Ren on our side? Guys, you guys are screwed, even though I'm at half health. Because I wasn't ready to actually fight people right now. Ooh, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh! Not Ren, you better not die. Tornado! Oh! How does that not knock you out in one hit? Like, getting, like, jump kicked in the face doesn't knock you out. Again, really wish, like, my striking was up. Because I feel like I don't do any damage with these, like, power blows. Ooh, nice dodge. Are you done? Come on, Ren, I already knocked one guy out. Hit him! Hit him! There we go. Is he done? Oh, not... Not so easy now when you're getting gang up on, huh? Pa, 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 pa. Oh, oh! That went fairly well. Again, like, how many times do you get beat up during a day? 
These guys are nothing. This is literally next day. Maybe you've lost your touch or something, huh? Hey. Oh no. That's uh not good. Ren, you have like a, a stick or a knife. Use it. Who is this guy? He's a monster. Ooh. I thought he was gonna break his leg. Come on, Ren, you can do it. Ooh. Brent, you got like a metal pole. Oh, is it quick time? QT? Oh, oh, I guess we're fighting him again. Can we win this one? Like I have the counter elbow assault on. Is that why like we're getting like hits time stop? Oh, I'm done. <laughs> okay. You're supposed to lose that fight, so no, uh... Oh, 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 God. I'm dying. There's no way we can take this gorilla. No way we can take this gorilla. Damn it. Let's get out of here. Oh, my soul. I crushed it. Do we have to fight all of his cronies again when we fight them after we, like, know how to beat them? Wowza. That was a close one. Leo. Shenhua. Hoo-wee. Who would have thought you hooked up with a girl? Leo, who is he? Oh, this is Ren. So, you've already told her stories about me, huh? But that doesn't mean you can leave me in the dark. Where did you meet a girl like this? Hmm? Yeah. What's the matter, Ren? Uh, never mind. It's none of my business. I'll see you around. Seriously, that guy. Maybe we should you get beat up again. Sure. Sweet dreams, Leo. Aww. Good night. I really like Shen. I think they make a good couple. But again, I'd like hey, to see... You. Oh, right. Did yes. we not pay? You need to pay for your room tonight. Don't tell me you don't have any cash. No. No, here you go. Boop. Ah. Uh. Thank you. There we go. All right, let's head upstairs. I guess we have to go to sleep. But, um... Yeah, I hope in Shenmue, like, 4, we actually go to Canada. I think that would be cool. See Nozomi again.
Shen's not even out there. Ooh. Looks good. Why is Shen not out there? She's always out there. I'm gonna grab some of these apples, by the way. Just gonna gonna pick some apples. Can we go into Shen's room? Like, where where is her room? Is it, like, next to ours? There it is. Hey, Shen! 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 <laughs> Knock on the window. Shen! Uh, let's see if we can, like, talk to her. But, um... Americans. But yeah, no, like, I'd like to see if we go to Canada, because, like, I, like it would be nice if the story goes there. Oh, can't even, like, knock on our door? Okay. But, um... Just again, just to see Nozomi again, I think that would be cool. Because she moved to Canada, and that was, like, a plot point for some reason that didn't really go anywhere. It was like, okay... It was kind of cool that, like, she left and, like, we left at the same time. Well, even though she left a little bit early. But, like, we both, like, left Japan and went on our own, like, quests. Even though hers is probably exceptionally more less exciting than ours. I don't know, maybe she's fighting someone who murdered her dad. That's some, like, good DLC. I wouldn't mind. Have a spin-off game. Oh, all right. Now we gotta figure out what to do next. Punches and kicks didn't work at all. It's like we were fighting an actual bear. Well, come on, tight lips. Think of something. Everybody's got a weakness. I'm sure of it. What is his style? Yeah, he had a weird-looking stance. I've never seen it before. He even used some moves that resembled animals. If we figure out his style, we might be able to find a way to beat him. You know any martial arts experts? An expert. Expert. I should talk to Mr. Sure. All right. Boom! Oh man, this is like a nice little. This is like a good end end card. For like an end slate, just just this. It looks nice. But I'm excited, like we're playing like Shenmue, we're almost done with it. That that's shocking. Cause like this whole sequence, it's called um I forgot what it's called. Oh, the Master Fisherman. So in, like the strategy guide, like this is like this is like one whole like arc. But after we beat this. I'll show this on camera again. Why not? Um, after we beat this, we um, we have one more like story plot point to go through, and then we beat the game. So like we are flying through this game. It's really good though. I, I like I'm I'm having such a good time. Like I know like a lot of people like I don't know were, was disappointed with this game, and, like, I get it. You know, like, I, I get it. But, like, I really do love it. And I love the fact that, like, Yu Suzuki, like, he wasn't influenced by any other games. Because, like, in an interview, he, he said, like, he hasn't played video games since, like, Shenmue. So he's not, like, playing games. He, he didn't take any, like, modern influences making this game and i like it because like again it feels like a dreamcast game and like the best way and like that's what i want it's like i, I like i'm sick of playing like modern style games it's like oh, going back to a nice like dreamcast style game amazing 
just amazing. Maybe I'll practice some more. Is exactly what I wanted. I'll save it for later. And I got it. So let's do uh, the rooster step. Rooster step, huh? Maybe I'll give it a shot. And again, I like, I like the concept of this because like it works more. It works both on like a gameplay level and a narrative level. Because, like, again, it, it does suck that, like, the combat's so bad, and it's really just, like... If you keep up on your training like we've been doing, where I do this, like, every video, and, like, you're level 20, your Kung Fu's, like, at level 20, you'll have no trouble beating this game. Just because, like, our numbers are so high, we can beat it. Where, like, in Shenmue, you know, two, 1 and 2... You actually had to get good at the combat in order to, like, progress on with the game. And it's like, I get the mindset of doing it, like, this way. But I do like kind of the narrative impl implications of this. I think I'm saying that right. Where it's just, like, one of the, the rules of Don was, like, train every day. And we're training every day, and that's making us win like these really hard like boss fights you know so it's like it works on like a narrative element too which more. i like that I'll just being a later. big dumb D oh we got our last peg look at that good good we expanded our health even more so we gotta run all the way over to... Oh, did they move these things? Oh, they moved these things. Does that make it any closer to what we need to do? Maybe, let's go. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad they started like opening up shortcuts to places. See? See? We're actually gonna have to come here later. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just think it works on, like, a narrative element. I do wish they made the combat better, though. Like, have both versions. Have, like, both ways of getting good at the game. Where have, like, a good combat system where if you're good, you can beat guys under level. But if you're not good at the combat, you could just train and level up so you have bigger numbers to make the combat easier for you. So, like, I don't get why they didn't do both. So, like, if you're really good at the game and you want to challenge yourself, you keep yourself underleveled, like, you don't train. And that means, like, enemies hit you harder, you have less of a chance of messing up. And, uh, you can keep the game going like that, you know? But they decided just to do it the number way, where as long as you train, as long as you're high enough level, you can take on anything in the game. And it's just like, okay... Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that one. So we gotta find Karate Masters, and I don't think talking to the guy at that karate studio where we, like, we just trained is gonna help. Is it raining? I can't tell. Cause it's either raining or the screen's doing like a weird tear thing. I can't tell, but I think we need to go here. This guy said he'd help us out, so... Yeah. But anyway, that looks like a good... This looks like a great place to end the video. So next video, we'll head off to, uh... Is it raining? Okay, no, I think it's just a weird screen thing. So next video, we will go off, we will do, uh... Stuff here, talk to this guy, see if he knows any Kung Fu masters, or knows that guy's... What style of Kung Fu he's using. So, um... Yeah, anyway, guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Get ready for the end slate, and I'll see you guys next video. Okay, thanks, bye. Later. Hey, and welcome to the end slate. Thank you for making it all the way into the video. This is the pre-recorded end slate, so it's going to be the same every video. So here, I'm just going to tell you to remember to like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff helps my channel. Uh, playlist to any of the Shenmue 3 episodes that you might have missed or just want to rewatch again. Playlist is down in the description below, along with the playlist for my how to draw videos, um, other things like DeviantArt, Twitter, 
all that stuff's down there. Um, also, I'd like to give a shout out to Guardian Saiyan. Guardian Saiyan's an awesome friend of my channel. He does all my like thumbnail work. D d really helps me out. Um, really great guy. So I always linked his stuff in the description below as well. Definitely go check him out. Um, other than that, I hope you liked the episode. I hope Shenmue 3 lives up to the hype. Um, I don't know. I haven't finished it yet as of recording this. So hopefully I like it. I want to like it. <laughs> so anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, thanks, bye. Later.